Falcone's Ford. Today, I'm learning how to blacksmith. Got an anvil, bending fork, of course, hammer, tongs, and Jerry is gonna teach me how to use these tools to forge metal. Great, we're all. Same tools we've, that have been around for thousands of years. Thousands, yes, okay. yes. We're gonna do it just exactly like they did. Looks like our fire has started. Wow. We'll get about 2,000 degrees out of this fire. Blacksmithing is all about moving metal. Uh, What's the most unique thing you've ever made? Well, uh, the uh, made of Friedrich cross, which is the split cross. Okay. So everybody makes those now, but I made one out of uh, two and a quarter inch square. Here's the start of my Friedrich cross. Yes, sir. And this is going to be the top of it, and these will be the two arms, and it just naturally is going to want to splay out and bend over, and you flatten it out, and right. Okay. It it takes a little uh, coercing to all right to get it down. Just nestle that in the down we in. Want, we want to heat. Primarily this section, we're going to get between 16 and 1800 degrees. A really good forging temperature. We want our metal the same color as the fire. Oh, lovely. Okay. Lovely. Okay. We're good to go here. Yeah, I'm going to get a bending tool. All right. I'll pull towards you somewhat. Not, oh, not wow, that moves easily. Okay. Now we're going to. I'm going to manipulate this a little bit. This is a bending fork. Put enough heat on anything, and you can. It's amazing what you can do with it. Now come in from the side. Okay, about time to get some more heat. All right. Well, this thing's about the size of Thor. That'll tie you out real quick. <laughs> it, you it start will. beating on that thing. What is it, 10 pounds? All right, you can go in with that here just like that. Just like this? Mm -hmm. Just tweak it oh, until okay, till we get square. Now, I get this. and we're going to get flat first. Okay, let's take a look. Uh, eyeball it and see. How me darn. Now, we want to flare the ends but we want to move this metal in all directions here so so you're using the rounding end of it so you can see it getting wider that's looking real good mike and like you said like anything else it's not just beating at something but you know hitting a hammer a certain way is more than just to move it to move yeah. it in the direction you want to move it yes and that is basically all smithing we are balconies forge uh blacksmiths of central texas uh we've been around for since the mid 70s the parent organization is abana which is the artist blacksmith association of north america we have conferences every two years people can come together buy tools find out new techniques and watch demonstrate and then we bring this back to our local groups. And this is a kind of a way of keeping this art form, because this is an art form alive. It is, really. it is. So I'm just continuing to sure. spread it out? Yes. Uh-huh. Okay, take a look. Wow. <laughs> it, it all looks great to me, Mike. Pretty much does it, yeah. I like a couple of good whaps with a hammer. That is a great feeling of satisfaction. I mean, when you took a hunk of metal and and made a piece of art out of it. And it's, it's gorgeous. Well, Balcones Forge meets again on August 25th, and uh, these folks are amazing. You take raw stock like this, add some heat, a few well-placed hammer blows, and you've got a work of art like that. Jerry, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank Senator. you, Mike.